Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On November 30th, 1894, right here in Natchez, Mississippi, the LSU football team scored its first ever touchdown and won its first ever game against the Natchez Athletic Club. The team's captain, Samuel Marmaduke Dinwiddie, became the first LSU player to score a touchdown. The Natchez Saturday evening banner noted that the game was to have taken place on Thanksgiving Day, but the team got stuck on a sandbar near Layman's Landing. The paper went on to say the game attracted a large crowd to the park as a football match was something new for Natchez. It proved to be quite entertaining to those present. The visitors were entertained at the Natchez home of one of the LSU players, Hughes Arigi. They departed the next day, and the paper reported that they were well pleased with their visit and the courteous treatment received while here. So Natchez families have been sending their children to LSU for a long time, and Natchez hospitality and game day partying are obviously well-established traditions. LSU's second game that year, unfortunately, was a loss to Ole Miss. The following year, 1895, was LSU's first undefeated season. They were undefeated again in 1896 when they first beat Ole Miss. The rivalry had begun and continues to this day. My name is Casey Hughes, and I was the third generation of my family to graduate from LSU. This has been your Natchez History Minute. Go Tigers!